We should be going live. Okay, three, yeah. two, one. We are live. You ready joining me? Yes, and All my right. name is Jeremy. I Jeremy. am Pixel Star, but no, that doesn't go well. No, I don't like that. <laughs> well, hello you, everyone. You Welcome yeah, to our live you. stream. This is Pixel Stabbers. We are Pixel Stabbers. My name is David. It's Jeremy. In this live stream, hey. we're going to go over how the Sony ZV-1 is an amazing vlogging camera. Like, we don't have one yet, but that camera, once it's released, it's going to be wait, freaking wait, wait, amazing. Wait, 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 I was 100 Mark too. Yeah, so that one looks very similar. So we, we're going to talk about the Sony ZV-1 and why it's such a great camera for vloggers. It might not have all the bells and whistles of something like the Canon M50, which also has a flip out screen, mic jack, and a nice lens and works well for vlogging. Uh, hey, your light went off there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's um, give Jeremy a minute to set up his lighting. But today we're talking about the Sony ZV-1 and it's a fantastic oh, that camera. Sucks. <laughs> so what makes it amazing is that it has everything you need as a vlogging camera but all in one package that you can put in your pocket and take out to do your vlogging. It's great because everything is simple. It's dialed in so that anyone can just flip it open. You don't even need to turn it on. You just open the screen and the camera turns on. And for example, when you're recording, you'll notice, like, let me show you this picture right here. So this is a Canon, sorry, this is a Sony ZV-1 but you see this little red light here? I think it's called a tele light. And what that light does is it turns on when you're recording. So small features like that is really nice for a vlogger, especially when you're, you're, you're focused on doing your vlogging and not worrying about if you're recording. And a lot of times, I, I mess up. Like I'm recording and I'm like, I think I'm recording and then I do my whole vlog and I realize, oh, it wasn't recording. Or I'm recording like halfway and the camera just retracts and shuts off. Like what's, what's happening? And that's because the auto power off mode is enabled because it wasn't recording. So anyway, we're going to talk about the Sony ZV-1 and why it's such a good vlogging camera. So, Jeremy, you want to yeah, say anything why? about that? Well, I like it because it's small. Um, I'm one of those guys that, you know, right now, I don't like thick skin, but if I have to hold a camera and start talking on the screen in public, mm -hmm. and I'm holding something so big, then with all the microphone and all that, I feel like kind of embarrassed. Uh, and also, you know, when you walk around the street, you don't want to bring a lot of stuff. And this, I mean, I know for a fact that it's the same size as this, right? Yes. The RX100, so so tiny. I could actually fit that in my pocket. I don't need to bring a backpack or whatever. Yes. And I realized that they have an internal mic. And according to a lot of resources, the internal mic works pretty well. So, I mean, mm -hmm. there's no external mic needed if I don't want like, absolutely amazing audios, right? Yeah. So I would definitely get one, even though I am a Fuji user, but I will get one just because I need to do some reblocking on when we are able to go out and do that. Okay. Yes. For, that is. Yeah. So that's what I about it's small. It's small. It's small and it has all the features you need as a vlogger. You mentioned the onboard microphone, which is really important too. Because like I have the G7 X Mark II, which is Canon's old version of a portable camera that is good for vlogging, but it, this one never had the flip out screen that flips to the side. You see how mm -hmm. the Z, See, this the one ZV1, only flipped this way. Right. So see. most of, most of the small compact cameras, I don't think there's anyone that's compact that has a flip out screen. The closest I've seen is the Canon M50, which has a nice flip out screen, but then now you're talking about a Canon camera that has like a, a bigger lens. So you know you what? I think I know. This in your there's two things I, I bet you don't know. Which one is that? For once. With Vin Sony, the uh -huh. RX series is my favorite. Okay. I use this camera for professional work, kid you not. I would be not surprised. You you are an underdog. You like to use underdog <laughs> equipment to take amazing photo. And these cameras, no matter how, how, how simple they are, if used by an, a, a talented photographer like yourself, can take amazing photos. Secondly, I bet you don't know what ZV-1 means. ZV-1. It means it's the best vlogging camera that Sony has ever made. No, V actually had two meaning, I think, besides vlogging. Oh, what, what? So, is, I think the V means vlogging? No, I, I actually, to be honest, I don't know. What does ZV mean? Do you know what lens it comes with? Yes, it has a 24 to 70 f1.8 to f2.8. Very nice lens. Do you lens. know what sensor it comes with? 
Yes, it's um, it's a one inch sensor. Do you know which camera also carried those identical features? Well, in the Sony lineup, yes, Sony RX100 Mark V and then the latest Sony RX100 yeah. V8. So Mark V carried all that, and then when they yeah. upgraded to Mark VI, they pack in that like seventy, the two hundred millimeter lens. So uh, yes. It's, and it doesn't really have that 1.8 app slot anymore. So no. the V here stands for the ZV-1 is actually based on the model of RX100 Mark V with oh, the lens yes. and all that. Ah, very clever name. What, what, what about the Z? What's, why is it called Z? Uh, that one they didn't explain. It's probably something new. You know, they don't okay. want to confuse with um, the RX1 line. But. Okay, well, ZV-1 it is. Uh, first, when I heard the name, it was hard for me to remember. But now, I just, it, it just, it, I love the name so much. I love the camera so much. The they, ZV1, they have different line. They have an Asian line back then. Yeah. It's like a selfie camera. Also, start with a Z. Yeah. Did you know that? I didn't know that one. Yeah, they, they only sell it in Asia for Sony. Interesting. I did a campaign with them for that. Uh, it's like a, the whole camera looks like a perfume bottle. <laughs> okay, it's on the camera. It have an LCD flip, and it has a huge lens in the front of it. Yeah. Um, it's photos like uh, social light and a uh, lady who like to block, self blocking and selfie. Mm -hmm. They sell that thing like crazy. That thing costs like three thousand dollars. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, let's That's, go into anyway. the details about the ZV1. Let's really talk about it. Like just looking at this top picture. Like one of the things that you mentioned already is the onboard microphone, right? Like the small ones, like the RX100 Mark V or the G7X, G7X Mark II Canon I have here. The one thing that I never liked is that it has a built-in microphone, but you can't add external microphones. Yeah, so but most limited. of the time when, when you do like video, you never yes. use your on-camera microphone because you know it's not it's good. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I mean, you pick up sound, but like what quality of sound, right? Right. So most of them are terrible. Now this new one, the ZV-1, actually has an array and a directional microphone. So it's actually pretty good because it points at the person holding the camera this way. So the audio is actually directional, meaning directional versus omni, right? Because normal microphones are omni. It picks up directional audio everywhere. So it's not directional, it's just omni. It picks up audio everywhere. But now with the new ZV-1, the audio is picked up directional towards you. So that, number one, makes it better. Number two, do you see a fuzzy thing on top of the, the camera right here? The dead cat? Yes, exactly. Normally, what they call the dead cat? Or they yes, have an official it looks like a thing? cat. <laughs> no, it's, I think it's called, it's called wind muff or uh, 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 something. But yeah, dead cat I know. is a acceptable That's term. That's the function name, but I think everybody calls it a dead cat. Yeah, so that dead That's cat what... is amazing, right? Because how, with old cameras like the Sony uh, RX100, Five or the G7 X Mark II, people would stick a little dead cat on it by just putting Velcro around it and sticking it on there, and it works. It works great, but it's messy and you can't take it off easily. So now with the Sony ZV-1, not only is the microphone better, it's directional, but it also comes with this dead cat that elegantly slips onto the hot shoe, so you can take I it off. I don't know. It makes the it whole on. thing looks very cute. Yeah, and it works <laughs> like really a, nice. Oh, it's I want to pet it. Yes, I love it. So now you got an onboard microphone that's really good. You got the dead cat that you can put on and take off quickly and it looks nice, but that's not all. If you wanted to, you can use the occluded hot shoe with the ZV-1. That actually, if you include it with microphones that are designed for Sony, there's no wire because that hot shoe is a connectivity Ooh, for the sorry. microphone too. So it's very clean. You have a nice microphone that attaches to your camera with no wire. That's if you don't want to use a built-in microphone, which is actually really good already. And then the third option, if you want to use an old school microphone like the Rode Video Mic Pro or the Rode Video Mic Pro, the cool thing is there's a mic jack, not on this side because this side will block the screen, but the mic jack is right. on this side. They thought of everything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So if you wanted to use an external microphone that uses a microphone jack, you just stick it on this side of the camera and it doesn't block your screen. So you got three options. Onboard microphone with a dead cat or a second, a hot shoe camera microphone, a hot shoe mounted microphone that doesn't have wire. Or the third option is a hot shoe microphone that has a wire where you can stick it on this side of the camera, not on the side that blocks the screen. So. They mm. thought of a lot of things. In fact, they thought of pretty much everything that a vlogger would want in a camera. That's why it's so great. 
and it's po it's portable, pocketable, just like the old G7 X Mark II I have here, or the the classic Sony RX105. So very cool. Just looking at this picture, you can go all all over by that, right? So you got the flip out screen, which is amazing in this form factor, right? Because your camera doesn't have the flip out screen this way. You know, the, looking at this picture, you probably fell in love with it. I feel like it's not a good looking camera. But it's, it's a nuts. functional camera. It's a functional camera. It's clean. And it's clean. Yeah, it's clean and it's compact. Oh, I, I noticed that it has that wet light in the front, yeah. which a lot of cameras don't have. I don't think any camera has this. Like room. currently, now I'm using a Sony A6400. Yeah. I don't even know it's a recording. <laughs> Not because. <laughs> Right, yes. Unless you're looking, you have the screen flipped out for you, you don't know. Mm -hmm. So this red light is amazing for vloggers because, I mean, t technically you have the screen face out here too, so you can, you can always be looking at your screen, right? When you're vlogging, you got the screen, mm -hmm. so you're looking at it. But usually you don't really pay attention to a really small dot that says you're recording on the screen. So when you're not recording, you can still see yourself and you're still moving around and it's autofocus and you think everything is fine until your lens retract and you're like, what? That's because the camera just auto shut off because you've been idling for five minutes re talking to yourself without recording. This is why this little red light, such a simple design, is perfect for a vlogger. And this camera has it because it's, in t it's tailored towards the vlogging community. You know what, I buy this and then just kind of scrape away the Sony sign, I think I'm good. <laughs> You're such a diehard Fuji boy, man. Fuji no, I like Sony boy. too. <laughs> so why do you not want to represent a brand that established such a nice camera? Because I don't like the fonts of Sony. Okay, fair enough. It's not a you good logo. Two. You have this one here too. You want to wipe out this one as well? Yeah, that one I can't see, that's fine. Okay, well if you flip it around so you're vlogging, you'll see it. Actually, if you notice, a lot of people that basically put those black tape all over their cameras. Um, yes. Right, right. I yeah. don't know why. Well, they said it's reflective. Like what? No, nah, I don't think it's reflective. <laughs> but it's one one thing is nice is that it keeps people keeps thieves away too, because thieves don't really know which camera it is, and they might not pay so much attention if they think it's an older model. But anyway. It has a nice shiny badge here, but there's other features just by looking at this camera, right? Look at this. What do you think this dial does? App stops? Zoom? Nope. Zoom. And it's actually easy to reach when you're holding the camera in the vlogging mode, right? So you're holding here, you can easily adjust the zoom just by sliding that little dial. I guess the, so. Yeah, in the old cameras, it dude, used to be... It has right here too, dude. Look, even the Alex Mark has it. Where is it? I can't see. Let me let me zoom in on your camera. Right there. Oh, oh it did have it. Okay. So they they carried it over from the RX series, but like for mm. for like a um oh actually I take it back. Even my R G seven X Mark II has it here. So yeah, it's a little long in the front, so you could basically yeah. just zoom in zoom out. Yeah. So it's nice that it has it. So it carried over that good feature to have. So that's there. Also, this button right here, you can't really see it well in this view, is the record button, which is big and easy to access. So you don't have to look yeah. for this tiny little record button. Because you see on my G7 X Mark II, I don't know here. if you can see it, but the, uh, the lighting is yeah, bad. But too. the little record button, you see it right yeah. here? It's right same here, goes, this tiny little thing. Same goes on the RX100 Mark II, it looks right here, really tiny. Yeah, like, it's I, it get right, it. exactly. Yeah, so obviously our, our other cameras, the, the Sony RX100 that you have, or the G7X Mark II that I have, it's mainly t tailored towards taking pictures, right? Because you have the big mm -hmm. shutter button, and that's to take pictures, not to start recording. Whereas this camera is designed as a vlogging camera first, although it can take pictures as well. And to start vlogging, it's that big button there, Easy to see, once you start recording, you have this red light, so you know that you're, re you're recording. You can just zoom over here. It's got a great lens too. Like, what is the favorite thing about the Sony RX100 VA that, that you, 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 you favor so much? In terms the of body. the lens. Yeah, build quality is good too, but in terms of the lens, you have a 24-70 as well, right? Uh, yeah, it's 1.8 f-stop. Yeah, it's 1.8. Yeah, it's 1.8 to 2.8, which means... When, uh, when they're at 24 millimeter, that is. Yeah, so okay, I'll be honest, this is a little bit gimmicky. 
a marketing gimmick, right? Because 1.8 to 2.8, it's really a 2.8 lens throughout the majority of the zoom yep. range. It's only 1.8 at the very widest, which is 24 millimeter. And again, that's not very wide either. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but it's only 1.8 at 24 millimeter. Then as you go to like 26, 28 millimeter, you're already going at like F2, F2.2, F2.4, and then you're at F2.8 before you know it. So to be honest, it's a really good lens, really good aperture, but consider it majority 2.8 unless you're using it at the widest aperture, which you probably will, you're vlogging. So it, it has its merit. It's a 1.8 lens at the widest. For vlog camping, you would need to use 24 millimeters yeah. to get that, you know, you're holding it that way, you need yeah. some kind of wide lenses yes. to kind of capture the whole, your, mm -hmm. well, your whole head. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, with the G7X Mark II that I have here, it's pretty much a 24 millimeter equivalent. And with the G7, Sorry, with the Sony RX105, which is the popular vlogging camera too, that came out before this one, also was 24 millimeter equivalent on the wide end. Or might even be 26, I don't know. But 24 millimeter is just wide enough. I would say if there's one thing to improve on this camera would be, if it's a vlogging camera, let's focus on something a little bit wider and something less a little tough photo. So maybe a 20 millimeter to 50 millimeter, I would like more or 18 to 50, dude, that would be amazing. But nonetheless, 24 to 70 For is what this camera one inch sensor, like that close, how about 11 millimeters, like 16 maybe, 16. Yeah, 16 would be really 16 good. 16 wind up. Yeah. You know, we have small head. What, what happens if someone like, we big body build and big head, then you know, it won't <laughs> fit. Yeah, yeah, so what I have here, this one, this one I have the Canon M50. This is an 11 to 22 millimeter lens. I love this because it's got the wide lens that works perfect for vlogging. The only thing is, see this camera, I can't fit this in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Whereas something thin and profile like this, I can easily fit in my pocket. And if you're looking at the Sony ZV-1, this is the profile you get, very compact. So just looking at the camera, that's, you can tell so much that it's already, already tailored towards Vlogging, right? Let's check out this video real quick here. Oh yeah, we should talk about this vlogging stick too. But let's watch this video. Wish they make it longer. <laughs> mm, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good size. Check this out, ZV-1. Ooh. Yes, designed intentionally for vloggers. Simple. And one of the things I love about it is like you can just flip up, flip open the screen, and the camera turns on. So you don't even really? need to, yeah, you don't even need to know that. Yeah, it's, it works. We just want to push up a button. You can also change from like a blurry background to not blurry background. Look at that, the, instantly, right? Normally you can do it with our cameras, but you have to think about setting it up and whatnot. And in another mode, you can go to product mode. You see how when you hold up the product, it's focused, the product is focused, not on the yeah, person. Yeah, I mean, that's basically just turning off the face and eye detection and focus what's closest. Yes, but it happens automatically with the push of a button, right? Versus That's on our true. camera, you have to find the, the, the features. And a lot of times... I think this one's why keep your face bright. This yes. is good features. Because yeah. I, I see a lot of reblocker walking in yes. some different area and it just got dark in and you know... Yes. That doesn't look good. I think this would be pretty good. Because they don't want to care, they don't care about exposure in the background. They care about yes. exposure for themselves. Right. So, right there like that too. Yeah. And also the skin smoothness is what they're talking about right there, right? There's a feature that makes the skin very smooth. And that, it depends on what you want. I wouldn't use it personally, but I know a lot of people will love it, especially in the Asian market because they typically love to have very smooth skin. Although it looks a little bit artificial, but they love it, right? That's well, why- my wife used that type of feature on his phone, on her phone, her phone and camera yeah. constantly. So, so it is a must. <laughs> there's, there's proof in the pudding right there. So I love this camera, Created for Creators ZV-1. Remember that name and remember this quote. I think it's gonna be the most popular vlogging camera of 2020 and probably beyond because it really, it's everything a vlogger wants and have been asking for so long. Like there's always something wrong with this camera, right? Like this one, um, you can't have the external microphone, right? You can't, and the onboard microphone sucks. Whereas on other cameras, like the Sony one, the focus isn't as good, right? Or whatnot, or they never had to flip out screen, right? So you're always so close, but now finally, Sony has introduced a vlogging camera. 
You know, how come Canon never makes something like this? I mean, I feel like Sony is the company who always follow the trends and they know what people want. Yes. So, so Canon should have made one. I mean, I always... I mean, Canon is supposed to be like the video camera uh, expert and they should be the leader of things. Yeah, they should have. I mean, I, I've, I've always complained to them about... Uh, hang on one second. Yeah, I've always complained about them for this camera because I thought this was really close. This is the G7X Mark II to a perfect vlogging camera, but it never had the external microphone. And yeah, they always miss a mask somewhere here and there for some yeah. reason. And I don't know why they, they wouldn't do it. Obviously, to protect the market for other cameras, but everyone wants it so much. See, but that's so the problem with yeah. business. I understand you make money, but when you have to make every single product based on the business strategy on how yeah. your other product is, that means you will never make a perfect and good product for your consumer. Yes, yeah. Listen and to this c company. You learn that make good product, not make good money. You make money by making good products, period. Exactly, and there's a demand and need for a good vlogging camera for the last five years. Like, I've been doing YouTube for a long time now, and I've always wanted a perfect vlogging camera. And I think, I'm sure this is it. This is the one. It's got everything and check all the boxes for a vlogging camera. So let's go check out some more details, right? It's designed for creators. Let's, let's look into the details of what makes it so perfect, right? So check this out. Designed for creators to love. Right? Creators use the camera, but Sony wants the creators to love this camera. No experience is necessary to capture great looking videos. The ZV-1 is designed to capture amazing videos of you and your world without any tricky setups. Right? You just open the, the, the screen and it turns on the camera. You hit record and you can easily record yourself. Right? Audio-wise, onboard camera is good enough. Includes a dead cat if you want to. You don't even need to worry about external microphone. Right? And it's got the flip-out screen. It works great. You don't have to worry about external screen. Carry in the extra equipment. And we should talk about the little stick that they mentioned earlier too. I forgot. That's actually... Well, we'll talk about it later. But really designed for vloggers in mind. Beautiful mm. skin tones for everybody. So, whoops. So you see all the skin tones here? It's softened and smoothed out just well, a little bit. They're also young and beautiful people, so that makes <laughs> a lot of difference. Yeah. So here we got the background bouquet for a professional touch. You see how it's blurred out? And it's able to do that because number one, it's got a wide aperture lens, f 1.8 at the 24 I bet, millimeter. I bet you have to keep your, that focal length at 24 millimeter in order for that function to work, right? Uh, not necessarily, because you can have it at 2.8, and you still have some blurriness to it, but um, it's different than if you were like at f 5.6 or f 8, right? So if you I guess hit, so. Yeah, if, if you hit the button, it will try to get the most open aperture at any focal length you're at. Mm. And it does that by enabling the ND filter. It has a built-in ND filter. Oh yeah, filter. see, mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the cool thing about um, the RX100 Mark 5 has ND filters and they yeah. body pack with this one too. Yes, yes. If, if you guys don't know what ND filter, it's short for neutral density filter. And basically it's like putting sunglasses on your lens. The, yeah. the complex and detailed fact is that if you want to have shallow depth of field, you have to open your lens a lot. But if you open your lens a lot, too much light comes in. And if you're filming in daylight, you, you have a problem with that. You can't open your lens anytime you want. It's great at night because you have more light. But when it's too bright outside, opening your lens all the way is bad. So that, that's why you need sunglasses uh, to make it so that the, can, the, the lens appears to be getting less light, but you still have the wide aperture. So now mm -hmm. the way to fix that is Sony puts a built-in ND filter inside the camera, so it's sunglasses that you can turn on electronically and it'll cover it. And it'll, it'll give you the effect of sunglasses for your camera without yeah, the hassle cool. of an ND filter. It's amazing. But what's even cooler is that you don't need to turn on the, the ND filter and then open your aperture and change your shutters to get the right exposure. No, you hit one button. If you want blurry background, hit the button. Boom, blurry background. You don't want blurry background because you want to see the building in the back, hit the button again. Boom, now the background is clear again and you can see the building. So that's why it's great for professionals that are focused on creating content, right? Because you're talking about vloggers or charismatic people that have energy, that have stories to tell, that has exciting, interesting days to, 
to share with the world, right? But they're not tech geeks. They're not nerds like us that no cameras, know what an ND filter is. Oh, know right. what a I don't speed. consider myself a nerd. So don't don't computer, come in that category. Computer geek. Are you are not you even? And the camera geek. No. A photographer. Okay. Well, no. What? You've been yeah. shooting weddings for ten years. You're not a photographer. I'm everything, and I'm also nothing. There. Okay. But you know ND <laughs> filter. You know yes. aperture. You know shutter. I I love the ND filter they implement in this only um Alex series, and also yes. in this new one now. Cause I I know how it works. I just never. I'm too lazy to carry one and put it in front of my lens. Yeah. But I love how they build it in and just basically one click. So that's. <sighs> yeah. The one click is my so, favorite part. Like even if they have it built in, I tend to probably won't use it because it's too much to think about to just dial in all the settings. Oh no, right? no, no! When you go, when you bring that camera, I'm, I'm, I want to test it when it first came. I want to buy this. I, yes. I, I, I kid you not. Yes, I will this buy is this a good because camera to buy. Um, even though it's built for reblocking videos, yeah. But I believe all the function is also good for photography too. I, I saw some people saying that this is built for video only and not for photography. You want photography get the um what RX one hundred Mark is it Mark six now? Which yeah. has a two one or oh, weird, yeah. They have those two hundred millimeter lens in there. Mm -hmm. Which to be honest, how often do you need two hundred millimeter lens? Oh the, I mean twenty the, yeah, the, 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 if you want a two hundred millimeter, assume. that's the that's, that's the Mark Mark six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. But the VA uh, is the the one twenty four seven. Yeah, I want. I just twenty four seven is good for me. Yeah, for that. Twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. And for Elto Y one point eight is good. If yep. I want to do landscape picture, that yep. internal building any filter is amazing. Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. from time to time, I do we blocking? So this is one of those cameras that literally can do both. Like yeah, you know when they said when they have the older series the RX one seven, you can do both. Yes. Because uh, I think RX five should uh four K video. Yes. And what it can do is within the 4K video, you could actually capture a theme, uh, a frame from one of those yes. videos and become a picture. That ah. was a really cool function back then. Mm -hmm. So, but I feel like this new one here, so the ZV one, uh, it's ultimately though the ca the camera can really do both. Like yeah, I would think like if I was on if I, when we can travel again, I would love to go vacation and just carry this one camera because that's all I need. Right, even the Canon M50, which I usually travel with, and I think it's kind of light and portable, it still can't fit in my pocket. The only thing that I need to feel on try out is, I love the whole Alex One Zero Series because you hear that, ah, it terrible. feel like a break. Yeah, I heard the build quality of the ZV One is different. It's a more plastic. -y. We'll see. So I actually haven't I got my hand this, yet. I dropped this multiple times. It yeah. still works. I don't know if the ZV One can handle the same damage <laughs> well to be honest when you have any camera that has a lens barrel that extends like this if you drop this and it hits something you're pretty much toast no matter how no, durable no, no. the body is i'm talking about when the camera's off and drop okay it. yes okay that's a little different yeah so we'll see how it is and i love that you know with the flip out screen you could probably flip it in and protect the screen like my uh m50 yeah, here yeah. right i think i think you can you should, you should be able to because that's great for traveling because when you want to put it in your pocket or when you're carrying it in the backpack with a bunch of other you know stuff what, man, it's great. we don't carry an extra purse to carry yeah. stuff we have a backpack yeah. and then you put it in a backpack it's so hard to get it out right you can stop put it out and zip it open it but yeah. if you're in your back pocket boom here start shooting it's right so cool. yep so yeah, you got the professional background blur with a touch of a button, and that's possible because we talk about the large aperture, the built-in mm -hmm. ND filter, and here, this is the Texas. The Texas, it's the large 1.0 type CMOS sensor, and the wide lens, wide aperture lens delivers image with professional background bokeh, as well as clear detail, even in challenging low light conditions. So you got that. Then you also got really good autofocus too. You see that it's focused on his eye, not just his face. Let the mm -hmm. camera catch your eyes. So with AI technology, you can rely on the autofocus sticking firmly to your face and eyes without wandering to other subject. When you want to focus on other subject, just touch it on the screen and let the camera do the focusing. I should also mention that the screen is a touch screen too. So you can touch and focus on what you want to. Now there's one caveat to that though. It's not a full touch screen in that 
other menus. It's it's only for the, like touching for focusing. Focus, I know. Yeah, yeah, which is like yeah, I guess it's good because then you can't mess up the the settings by touching it. So it's got yeah. the pros and cons. Honestly, I love my M50 because the touchscreen actually has the ability to change all the settings as well as for focus. So well, you can sell that thing now and buy this. Well, yeah, I can sell. Uh, yeah. But this costs half the price. But we'll talk. We'll talk about why I still want this because this has a removable lens. Okay, so this is yeah, great. Yeah, that's that's one thing kind of holding me back too. <laughs> this removable lens means I can attach any lens I have for this series camera as well as other series cameras. Like Canon's full frame EF lenses works perfectly fine, uh, but again, it can't fit in my pocket. Whereas something like this is a compact point and shoot like the ZV1 that has one lens that's designed for 2.8, sorry, designed for 24 to 70 with a really good aperture range and also really compact and well designed, but you can't change the lens. So there's pros well, and cons, I'm right? thinking to get the ZV1 to yeah. replace what I have here as my webcam yeah. and also for traveling. Oh, 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 news fact. News just dropped like today about the feature that they're gonna add on the ZV-1 and it's called webcam mode. Did you hear about that? Yeah, Fuji just dropped it last night. Oh. All the Fuji camera can be webcam now. Just download that software in your desktop. So, so it was new. Yeah, so Sony just dropped it too. So the ZV-1 will have the webcam mode. Uh, not yet. You have to wait till summer 2020. So yes. maybe uh, not when it first launched. You have to wait for a month or yes. two or so. Mm -hmm. But the news is dropped today. On but it, so. good thing, that's something to look forward to, that's yes. for sure. Yep, especially if you're using it for a webcam, right? So mm -hmm. you also have the fast, fast and precise focus transition. So the ZV-1 fast hybrid autofocus system lets you simply and quickly switch autofocus from a face to a background for more stylistic and watchable videos. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's check out this sample video. So it's, this one is about autofocus. Let's see what we got here. So let's focus on his face right now. Let's see when he wants to focus on background, how he does it. Oh yeah, he just turn around and that's what, that's what they mean, right? Well, that's pretty fast. Yeah, it's pretty good. The only problem I see with this is that if you flip it over there and there's like another person there, then it's gonna focus on the other person because it's, it's gonna yeah. try to focus on the face. But again, you gotta, you gotta understand how the technology works and use it accordingly, but that's pretty cool. Right? I mean, that's, mm. this is, I, I would say it's pretty cool, but also this is a feature in pretty much every camera out there. Right? If you yeah, have face detection on, on if they don't see that. a face, they're going to detect the background. But I mean, there's a few cool features with the ZV-1, but yeah. most of them are essential camera yeah. features. It's just they put it so well together to yes. make one device that allows you to do a lot of things well, easy. Yeah, and fits in your pocket. So it's mm -hmm. great for traveling. So also the bokeh, the pro quality bokeh control with one touch, right? So by pushing the bokeh switch, you can switch background bokeh on and off. No need for complex manual adjustments. Now it's simple to simply select a professional looking defocused background or keep the entire screen in focus with just the press of one button. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. I mean, I always like this series line because, man, good old time when I was working with Sony, um, I worked with them on the RX line the most. Mm -hmm. I love the RX line more ever than the A something something, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. Yeah, they, I, they, they, they designed it well. The, de the development team of the RX line are more, to be honest. I don't know. This is going to be on live, right? But you know, I'm going to say anyway, they're more superior <laughs> than a seven, the, a, the ACV line people. Kid you not. They, they managed to pack all that into one little tiny point and shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, on. they have different objective, right? Like if, if this is what you go for, that's why that engineer, that design team is making this camera. Then you have the A series camera, which is geared towards more of a, a more traditional size with traditional functions and proportions. You know, so, the A side basically focus on megapixels while okay. uh, the other line based on human incontinence of using a camera and how, <laughs> how fun they're using it. Ouch, that's pretty bold. <laughs> right, right. Okay, well, hey. That's the truth. Yeah, 
So, and not to fight the battle because I don't care about the, the A series. I just <laughs> want this new ZV1. So look at this. This is the bouquet feature that we just talked about, right? The mm -hmm. background blur. So notice, let's start the video back one more time. So you see how I notice like the text background? It's a little bit blurry, but you can still read the text, right? So right now, and then now it's blurry. Yeah, it's moving. You see the difference? It makes her face more sharp because it's more in focus. Although the focus uh, is the same on her face, but okay. making the background now, blurry. Now, I, I yeah. never really do much of a block walking before. To yeah. you, do mm -hmm. you see that's the need of it? If you're walking Absolutely. around, do you think people... Yeah. Okay. Why not? We're like that. That test video. Yes. She is actually standing there. Yes. Imagine you're walking around. Yes. Do you feel the viewer of the video will actually able to tell if it got blurry or not? Yes, they will because it's not about blurriness, but it's about the defocus, right? Because if it's sharp like right now, even though it's not that blurry, it's still sharp. So the attention it goes to the people trying to read the background text. Yeah. Right. I guess so. I guess it helped a bit. I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, like right now, and it does look less professional, right? You can see right, right now, even if she's walking, right? I can still see, I can read the word Asian. It just doesn't have as much focus on her. Now, if you oh, go that's to not here, Asian. <laughs> oh, it's, sorry. It spells A I S A S A N. Stop it. <laughs> I can't read my weakness. But look, now I can't read it anymore anyway. Now, and now I can focus more on her, right? Yep. So and there's, oh, there's she forgot a turn on skin we touching. Look at that. Yes, she Move. did. Look, look at those skins. It's not yeah. it's not perfect yet. <laughs> oh, she she's gonna get mad at you if she hears this. She's not. I know. Like come, that. come look for me. My name is Jeremy. I live in San Francisco. Don't come do look that. For me. You might not be alive tomorrow, my friend. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Jeremy. But look at her face. She's dead gangster. Look at that. She's she's here. Jeremy. I'm coming for you. Good luck, Jeremy. Sure. Yeah, he lives in uh, Bay Area. Let me know if you need his address. <laughs> but anyway, you see how it takes the, the focus away? And sometimes you do want the sharp background. And the sharp background is great because like you're vlogging, right? You're vlogging mm -hmm. about this beautiful beach, this beautiful hotel you're in, this beautiful scenery. Sometimes you want the background in focus. So, I mean, not in, in focus, because if you want it in focus, you just change the camera over there and just get the background. Mm -hmm. But you want to be talking to the people and still have the background pretty sharp because it's so great. And then there are times when, say, the beach is now packed full of people and there's like a couple people running around, they're making a lot of <laughs> chaos, and you want the, the viewers to focus on your face as you're telling the story, then you turn on background blur. So there's pros and cons. Well, there's, there's different times where you need the background blur on and off. And because mm -hmm. of the ND filter that's built in, the wide lens, and the push of a button, you can go from blurry background to not blurry background. It's amazing. I don't think any other camera can do this and have yeah, all this the function. Yeah, I think the algorithm works really well. Like, it's seamless. Yes. Like, you turn on the any filters and then it changes the apps top as, yes. as well. Either fuss around with the ISO or ISO, I mean, um, shutter speed then. It's seamless, so. Yeah. Then that's why this camera is cre created for creators to love, right? Because mm -hmm. you and I, it's we know cameras, we know how to do these settings, and even though we do know, we still think it's cumbersome, right? But just imagine telling. But, but you know what that means, though. What? For this camera and go on and on with this, yeah. meaning that learning all the tech and skill means nothing. All you need to do is one push of a button. So it's all again, it go back to the creativity and artistic rather than technical. Yeah. Because suddenly I'll take that all away. <laughs> oh, hey, we got uh, some comments we missed earlier. Jeff oh. DeLumpa. Oh, we know Jeff DeLumpa. He has a fantastic photography business at DeLumpaPhotography.com. Check him out. But he likes, yeah. he said, I'd like to see this. I'd like to see if this can be used as a webcam. Yes, and, you can. That's oh, why I'm buying it. <laughs> yeah, and he already said, he saw the, our message, right? So he said, yes, webcam mode. That's cool. Right on, Jeff. And then he also says, hmm, I wonder if you can adjust the amount of bokeh with the aperture setting or it's just a single setting mode. Wait, come again? I wonder if we can adjust the amount of bokeh with the aperture setting. I'm sure you can. That, yeah. that, one, that one single button is just for, um, you know, you want to adjust and blur out the, the broken or background like yeah. at that moment when the video but if you're in the camera mode i mean it's the same thing as any kind of camera you adjust app stop to adjust your depth of field pretty much yeah. the same thing 
Yeah, you have to be in aperture mode, aperture it, it's, priority. It's a point and shoot, but it still had manual mode. It's not like a dumb dumb like stupid yeah. camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm sure it has manual mode and it also has like time priority and aperture priority. Yeah, so it has Jeff, all the yeah. photography functions. Yeah, it so good, good so question, Jeff. But yeah, definitely. I will buy this for traveling and also webcam. Or more like we could vlog this everywhere. Eventually, yeah. we could do our shoot outdoor shooting. Um, you know, do whatever. So. Yep. I'm getting this. Yes. I know I'm getting it. Yes, me too. It's just that we have to wait. And if you guys want to get it, you can get it on Amazon right now. The funny thing is this price here is actually a promotional price because after I believe a certain date, I can't remember, is it June 28th or whatever, it actually goes up by $50? Yeah. Yeah. So um, this price is actually pretty good. Yes. Because if you ever follow the AWX 100 series pricing, if you look at, can you be able to find out like how much is the RX100 Mark 8 right now or Mark 6? Yeah, uh, the RX100 Mark 6 is $1,000 and it's on sale. Otherwise, it's normally $1,200. See, that's an older model too. And yeah. this is like right now with promotion and price, it's less mm -hmm. than 800 So uh, it's still quite expensive for a point and shoot type of camera. But if you do follow the lineup before and know that that price is pretty decent, yeah. Compared, to, well, you gotta think about the other functions. Right. It's packed in this. Yes. Yes. For a Sony camera, this is cheap. Relative. Do, to to be that. honest, you know what really attract me and um want to buy this camera? What's you that? never guess. It's the dead cat. <laughs> No, you like the cute little dead cat? Yes. I'm going to put a dead cat on your camera. You don't need to buy this camera. No, it's, it's not the same, but it's so fun. Uh, hey, Jeff got another comment. He's talking about the bouquet mode, and he's asking if it's similar to portrait mode like on the iPhone. It's actually no, not. No, 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 no. The bokeh mode is not using like artificial blurring, like how the the zoom yeah. way now is just blurring. It's actually using a broken, uh, lower it to the wires aperture there is to get you that depth of field. It's not digital, yes. okay? It's not yeah. like that. Yeah, exactly. Like the iPhone uses um, depth sensing ability mm -hmm. to kind of take a picture where everything is in, in normal focus and then artificially blur out the background. This yeah, so is actually you, real blur. Yeah, just on a side got blur yeah. in your hair and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, this doesn't do that. This is this professional. Is real, this is, this is real, real background real blur, yeah. right? Because of two things, right? The aperture at, at wide is at 1.8 at the widest range. And also it's got the built-in ND filter too, because yeah. normally if you're outside and it's bright, you, you uh, Jeff, you know you know photography. You can't use the wide aperture unless you have an ND filter. So this camera has a built-in ND filter, and also with that push of a button, it'll turn on the ND filter to the pr proper setting and dial your aperture as wide as possible. So boom, you're in bokeh mode. And then I if you want to turn it off, kind of turn boom, on you're and back put to on the ND filters. Yeah. Turn on the widest apertures yes. and also adjust either shutter speed or ISO at the yes. same time yeah. to get you that all in one click of a button. Yeah. That's why it's so cool. So again, it's designed for vloggers where mm -hmm. vloggers don't have time or the knowledge in some cases to learn all this or do it even if they know how to do it because it's just cumbersome. You want to vlog, you want to focus on selling your story. And that's what you do that. One of the other functions I really like this is the product mode. Oh yeah, the product mode is fantastic. Yes, we'll get a into that. A lot of cameras don't have that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like, like if I want to, here, let me show you, like right now, if I want to talk about this camera, right, I'll hold it out in front of me, but you see, I'm still focused. It's, now, if yeah. I want this camera to be focused, what I do is I have to cover my face. There you go, now the camera's in focus. Mm -hmm. And then if you see my eyes again, they'll focus on my face, but my camera should be what I want to talk about. Yeah. Again, I have to focus my, on my, cover my face so the camera's in focus again. So that's mm -hmm. how normal cameras work, but with the ZV-1, it has a product mode and the product mode is really cool because it can focus on what is closest to the camera and when that closest thing into the camera is removed, it'll focus back on the face and it's very fast. It works great. It's something that is a no-brainer. Like in this camera, if I wanted to, I'll have to disable all, um, face detection. And then if I wanted to go back to my face, I have to enable face detection. So it's mm -hmm. cumbersome, right? Whereas with this camera, it's a mode. 
you turn on the mode and it's always like that. Whether you want to hold up a product, then focus on a product. You take it off the product, focus on your face. So that mode is really good. Do they have bloggers. a video in the website that they do. showcase mm -hmm. that? Yeah, right? That's like the next feature. Oh, that's the next one. Right. So let's, let me show you the video. This is good. This is good for like showcasing mm -hmm. products or even do more because that I don't know. In the beginning, when I see a lot of vloggers doing the video showcasing product, I would, why do they have to put their hands, right? Like, yeah. I don't get that. They're now I do. Their face. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So let me pause this so we can see it, right? Right. So this is with the feature off. You see, the product mm -hmm. is in front, but the camera is still focused on her face. But here's yep. the, with the feature on. See, the moment that the product is closer towards the camera, the camera knows to focus on the product and not worry about the face. So mm -hmm. simple. It's I just I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing new function. It no. just they put it together so well. Yeah. And again, that's why this camera is great. You don't have to cover the the pro your face with your hands, right? Mm -hmm. It will just focus on the product. It's so good. Look at that. It, it works consistently. It's reliable and it's effortless. Yeah. That, I like. That, I mean, no. What I the most is effortless because mm -hmm. I'm lazy. Yeah. The less effort to put in to get something great, I'm all game for that. Yep. Yeah, here's, here's another example. You see how this is perfectly in focus, her face mm -hmm. is not, and that's with the mode on. With the mode off, even though you have the product in front, it's still going to focus on the pretty little eyeballs, which we don't want in this view because we want to see this makeup, puff, whatever that is. What is this? Uh, foundation or uh, I don't foundation, know. Foundation, foundation, yeah. No, that could not be foundation. That has multiple colors, probably some kind of, I don't know, makeup stuff. I don't know. Ask my wife. She's a makeup artist. I'm not. All right. Comment down below. Or Jeff, do you know what <laughs> this Okay. Is? I'll be scared if Jeff knows about it. <laughs> I mean, like, come on. Don't even come near me. <laughs> All right. If anyone knows what this is in the comment, let us know. What, what are we looking at here? Is this foundation? Why are there so many colors? Right? It is makeup stuff. <laughs> I want to know now. Oh, I want to know um, what this eye is. Eyeshadows or... Um, but why is there so many colors? Well, I don't know. Just to attract female buy them? I don't know, man. Or maybe it's a pantry dish to grow your own bacteria. No. no, no. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's go back to... Anyway. Um, the setting right, what's here. next? So let me just read what they said about the product showcase because it is what we said. But So the product showcase setting is ideal for product review videos. Product showcase setting allows you to switch with just a single button press to settings that are perfect for product reviews. It widens mm -hmm. the angle of view and switches the focus to the object instantly. So you don't need to wait for the focus to shift or place your hand behind the product to shift mm -hmm. the focus to it. Exactly. Look at that. So. Actually, Shoot. I can't do that. I, I have manual focus. It doesn't work anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So shoot great video wherever you go. The ZV-1 is built to get great shots while you're moving with amazing image stabilization. We forgot to mention that. You can shoot smooth video when walking as... Oh, I, I saw people using it. The stabilization yes. in camera is really good. It's, it's pretty darn good. And as the light goes from shadow to sun or outdoors to indoors, the automatic exposure tracks your face and makes sure that it's always appear well lit. Again, your face, right? Because most cameras are great at finding a good balance between your face and the whole scene pretty much. Mm -hmm. Whereas now, it uses the AI <laughs> face detection ne mechanism, but it focuses the exposure Always face. on your face because yes. you are the star of the show. Yes, you are the vlogger, you are the star. And videographers will say, ew, the background is overexposed. But this is actually acceptable and preferred in the vlogging world because mm -hmm. you want to see the people talking. They are the stars. So it's great for traveling, uh, for moving around because of the uh, in-camera stabilization. And it has good exposure on the face because mm. it exposes for our face. So great. And if you notice, he's got this little stick, which is an accessory that you can buy with the camera, right? So with the accessory kit, it comes with an additional 64 gigabyte memory card, or not an additional, but it comes with a 64 gig memory card and this, this Bluetooth stick. And it's pretty cool mm. because 
this stick here, and I can't zoom anymore, it, it makes it simple to easily switch to attach your camera. And with this lock here, you can easily um, adjust the camera angle and hold it as a vlogging camera, or you can just put it down by expanding these two legs, and now you have a table tripod. Very cool. And on the camera, you have control functions as well, including the zoom, so you can control the zoom while you're vlogging. You can zoom in and out. You can start and stop the camera from recording. You can actually push to take a picture, and all of it is Bluetooth too. So guess what's cool about Bluetooth? It doesn't need to be attached to the camera. So when you That's have true. the camera on a tripod, you can use the remote or this, this uh, vlogging kit can handle as a remote too to start and stop the recording or take a picture okay. or change the zoom. So it's pretty cool. That's neat. Yeah. Now I wonder if, because right now I have the 6400 and I pack it in the cable and it also adds as like a charger. So mm -hmm. I could like, you know, record as long as I can. Yes. I wonder what this one does the same thing. It does. Yes, so it unfortunately is not a USB-C, it has a micro USB port, but it does use, the, it does have the ability to charge the camera while you're using it on a battery pack. You just have mm -hmm. to make sure that the battery pack you have has enough amperage to continuously supply a constant amount of voltage to the camera. So it can continue recording, continue functioning while it's charging. I think there's some YouTubers that have done tests on this already. So if you want to check it out on YouTube, uh, you can see examples of that. But basically, yeah, yeah, basically there's one great YouTuber. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember his name or her name right now. But the YouTuber uses the camera on the battery only. Now the battery ran out, the camera is like dead in battery. So there's like hardly any charge on the battery. They plug in the, USB with the battery pack and they can re continue recording for a couple hours on the battery pack with the wait, battery. So wait, no, yeah. that's not my question. My question is because oh. right now I use a Tether yes. cable mm -hmm. to Tether to my desktop. Yes. And that charges the battery as it's recording and reeling. That's what I'm asking for this, so, not if you put in the extra battery pack. So it, it's using the USB to charge yes. as it goes. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. So then, not only in the battery pack, it just keeps going. Yeah, yeah. But you need a battery in the camera. You have to have a battery in the oh, camera. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not 100% sure if the battery is touched at all. It might be used a teeny little bit. So ideally, um, it might, after like 20 hours, you might drain the battery and you might have to switch the battery even though you have a constant battery pack, which is what I'm saying. Like, well, I, I it will not be 20 hours. I mean, the videos we did so long, the maximum is like, what, three hours? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, well, but that. if you're vlogging, right? If you're, if you're live streaming, you can vlog, you can live stream for three Oh, hours. that's true, yeah. huh? Yeah, so I, I don't know. To be honest, I, I wouldn't worry too much because it sounds like with a full battery and you're tethering and you're giving it enough juice with the USB cable, it should be good for like 24 hours or whatever. Oh, Even if fine. it drains the battery a tiny little bit, it'll still work fine. But yeah, good question. Very good question. So let's see what else we got on this uh, product page, right? So you got design for even better audio. Look at that. Mm -hmm. These are the microphone arrays. There's three of them. You can capture clear vocals even when shooting in a crowd. The camera's unique directional three capsule mic gathers clear sound from in front of the camera, ideal for movie shooting. So it's got a very unique microphone that's an array. So because it's in an array shape, it knows the direction of the audio and focuses on the direction of the audio. So it's mm. directional versus an Omni microphone that has like one capsule, it just focus on everything. So pretty cool. Cool. And, and then here's your favorite feature, Jeremy. The feature that that alone you would buy. It's called a windscreen. Yeah. That's a technical word for it. The <laughs> windscreen for outdoor shooting. The supply I that that windscreen, cat. aka oh, okay, dead that cat, cat. reduces He's wind always my dead cat. Ah, uh, so cute. So the supply windscreen reduces wind noise for worry-free outdoor shooting, somewhere. as Where well as receiving. Oh, sorry. As well as achieving premium sound quality. It's my dad cat. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so it does uh, also achieve premium sound quality even with the windscreen on. So that also means you'll spend less time reshooting and editing affected 
clips or clips affected by wind noise. You don't know how bad some of my clips are when I record with on on camera microphone without the dead cat. It's so terrible that I'm pretty much the audio is useless if it's windy. So really, this yeah, out, yeah this outdoor shooting, you, it's great to have the windscreen, Jeremy. That's that's what? so annoying because <laughs> I can hear that the rustle. Like, I don't know. Can you hear the rustle here? No. Here, here's my dead cat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. I can. Yep. All yes. Right, right. <laughs> yes. So, so that's how annoying you sound. <laughs> so here's here's the cool thing, right? So if you wanted to use your own microphone, you can use your favorite mic for the sound you want. With the mic jack and the MI shoe, you can pick from your choice of mics to get exactly the sound you want. Mm -hmm. So if you have a Sony microphone, the hot shoe actually add, acts as a way to power and send audio signal to the microphone through the camera. So you don't need a cable that dangles down from the camera. I wonder if this camera can do one thing that I wanted to do with uh, my old RX100 Mark V. Um, I could do manual sync like with, with really high shutter speed. Oh yes, with the Alex. I'm pretty sure this one can do it too. Don't quote me on that though. But it's an electronic uh, shutter and it's mirrorless, so yeah. That's why when I when I last time when I bought my Alex 100 Mark V. Yeah, is it Mark V or Mark V? I think I forgot. Either way, bring it to like a workshop while yeah. I'm shooting off camera flash. Mm -hmm. And all the other people are using we well, like what about outdoor, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's using like one over two hundred or two fifty because that was the maximum thing they yeah. had. Mm -hmm. I was like shooting over one over a thousand shutters and yep. they were like, How the heck do you do that? Well, if you use this camera, you can. <laughs> yep, because you don't have to worry about the curtain opening and closing. Mm -hmm. And like, it has any filter in there. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's 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 quite a hack. It's pretty awesome. So Oh yeah, and also the, the cool thing is if you even wanted to use like a classic microphone that has a cable, the cool thing is the cable plugs into On this the side of the camera, which is actually Does not... Does it have like a um, headphone Auto monitoring? No. It Unfortunately, doesn't it doesn't have audio monitor, which would be nice because for example, if you're vlogging and you want to see, see hear how the audio sounds, mm -hmm. it'd be nice to p plug in some headphones and hear it, yeah, that's but unfortunately you can't. Oh, yeah, we got... Well, it was yeah, we had a comment on uh, Amazon Live. Um, they asked, what's the best beginner camera for a camera newbie? Well, my friend, you can get pretty much any camera out there that's affordable to start shooting. Even a cell phone is a great camera. Um, mm -hmm. This particular ZV-1 is a fantastic camera if you're doing vlogging. But if you're just using it as a camera, as a camera to just take pictures. It also works. Yeah, it works too, but it's a little bit more expensive than you, what you need. It sounds like you're looking for a, a beginner's camera. Something like the Canon M50, which we have on the product line down below, is a great one. This is the M50 right here. It's got the flip out screen, so you can vlog if you wanted to. It's got the mic jack, so you can hook up an external microphone. And it's got interchangeable lens, so that if you wanted to, you can add a wider lens or you can change it like different type of lens or even attach a full frame lens on it with a, a adapter. Yeah, I recommend that too. That's something that you could upgradeable. Like you could change lens mm -hmm. uh, rather than point and shoot. A lot of people say that get a point and shoot, but then you need to buy a new camera once you grow out of it. But if you buy something which is in the changeable lens, yeah. um, you could just buy a different lens and you know move on or do something different. So, yeah, it's very exciting because you as you're learning photography, there's a world of prime lenses that you'll get into. Mm -hmm. And that's like a, a fixed focal length, but you can go really wide aperture. There's a whole I call them the non-lazy lens that you can move around. Yeah. So, the zoom lens is I call it the lazy lens. You don't you can just stand still. Yeah, <laughs> it takes away creativity. So going back to the ZV1, what we're talking about, you can create the world in your image. The ZV1 is designed to bring together simplicity and power, opening up creative opportunities as wide as your imagination. I don't know, man. I mean, imagine it. I let my hair down and do what she does. I don't think people will watch that. Eh, there are some guys that would like that. Oh gosh, <laughs> <laughs> not me. But I'm sure. I'm sure you might find the right guy if that's what you're no, going for. No, <laughs> don't even go there. Yeah. Well, if you wanted to, you can create no. the world. I mean, to your wildest imagination, Jeremy.
and we don't, you don't need to tell us about it. You can just do what you want. You can call it Jeremy Chan's channel. And Wait, I cannot put it in a pixel stepper? No. Come on. Nope. And if you guys, <laughs> if you guys are curious about pixel stabbers, that's our website. And we're working on it. We're making some progress. Hey, why is it taking so long to load? It's probably because my camera is lagging it, from... No, all because it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so here's here's our sneak peek of our website. We got all of that. our articles and our videos here, and we even got some sponsors. If you want Lumina 4, we got discount code here. You can click on this link, but don't forget, there's a Pixel Stabbers discount code you can apply on top of when you click on the link. And also, if you want the most powerful continuous LED light, don't forget to check out Stella Pro's CLX10. Click on this link for a discount as well. And if you also, want, also not try about Onhan. We did not hire people to do this. We would we build this site ourselves, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because in addition to being camera nerds, this guy right here is also a computer nerd. And I know a little He's bit amazing. of coding and amazing. some WordPress and we built this on Google Cloud Platform. So some geekiness to it. We're running on a virtual machine on the cloud, hosting our own WordPress website, oh, paying pennies for it. If you're curious, check out uh, my YouTube channel, Utechpia. I talk about how to get GCP WordPress for pennies a month. And yeah, anyway, we're off topic. Yeah. Going back to the camera. So dynamic video through slow motion. Oh, we forgot slow motion, dude. Really? Make, how yeah, long? it how does. Many it does. Two, it does 120 at 1080p, it does mm -hmm. 240, it does 480, and I think it does 960. The resolution at 960 is pretty bad, but it does amazing slow motion. Make every movement more cinematic with super slow motion video, capturing the most fleeting moment for playback up to 40 times slower than real life. That's 960 yeah. frames per second. I've been trying to learn something like, you know, shooting all those B-roll with slow motion and put them together and put this amazing music background. You mm -hmm. know how cool those videos are? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to learn how to do those for the longest time. This could be it. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Oh, remember that sound cannot be recorded in super slow-mo. And you also uh, well, need... Duh. Yeah. And you also need Otherwise. a class... What? Yeah, we weird. Are you dead? Okay, stop. Move on. Yes, and a class A or a higher SDHC memory card is required for super slow motion. Uh -huh. That's just because in one second, you're getting like 960 frames. So a lot of data is going through your camera. It uh, better be able how, to how much are those cards right now? They're cheap. They're cheap. Yeah. Your yeah. definite cheap and my definite cheap are different, dude. No, these are cheap. So class 10 is a typical SD card you can buy on Amazon right now. Let me just what? Open. Okay, as someone who is so technical, yes. what kind of, what card do you recommend for this camera? 128, 256, if it's mainly for video use. I would recommend 128, just because it's a nice buffer if you're going on vacation, you have plenty to use. You can get 256 if you, if you, like, if you really want to have everything on your memory card, but I would recommend 128 because it's a sweet spot, especially if you're dumping your pictures and videos to your computer every night. You probably cannot fill a whole 256 gigabyte card in one day unless you have like 10 batteries and you're shooting I'm the whole the time. I'm watching 128 right now. Check, check it out. It's cheap, man. So 128 and you're looking at a class oh, yeah. 10. Yeah, it's like 20 bucks. I'll right? buy 10 of those. Thank you. Yes, well, you don't need 10. Yeah, so like I'd I would, like to buy 10. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna buy 10. Okay. Do ahead. something about it. Buy 10. Yeah. And if you want <laughs> buy 10, stop me. <laughs> if you ever want to buy 10, go 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 to our website and click on any of our affiliate links. So would you sure. prefer ScanDisk or the other brands? SanDisk. I like SanDisk a lot. I've been using them for the last 10 years in my professional wedding photography. And in fact, I like okay, the Extreme you want Pro. Sony. I have Sony. Sony's good too. Here, let's zoom in on that card. Oh wait, you don't have product mode, so we can't see the focus. No, I can't. I got two Sony cards. They're 64 gig. Yeah. Hey, do you want to know a secret about SD cards and washing machines? They're waterproof. Yeah, because I, I had the older version of the G7X Mark II, and I have a really puffy jacket when I go skiing. So I was able to ski with my camera. I loved it. Put in my jacket. My wife is an angel. She washed my jacket. Without taking out the camera. <laughs> ah! So I took out the camera, obviously dead. 
put in a fresh battery, then turn on. I'm like, it's toast. All my vacation pictures are toast. Put out the memory card, just for the heck of it, put it in a computer. It works! The SD card <laughs> is waterproof. Is. Yes, it's waterproof. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, it's a class 10. You see this little number here? That's what you need for no. fast switch slow mo. Yeah, let's switch back to the screen sharing, dude. I oh, shoot. My bad. Good call. So, yeah, class Thanks. 10 is this little thing right here. And it's also called C10 here. And that's all you okay. need for the high speed. I always look for an SDHC too. That means you get the high, higher. So, how SD much would it cost to get a camera and then a Bluetooth remote stick and a 128 gigabyte card? It's. Well, you don't really need the 128 megabyte card or gigabyte card. You're probably good with 64 gigabyte card. So the reason why I say that is because if you do decide to get the accessory kit, it comes with the camera and the tripod vlogging kit. But it, see that little thing there? It That's, comes with a card? It comes with a 64 gigabyte SD card. Oh, then we are fine. That's yeah, how much? That is um, 900 bucks. Oh, and this is okay. a promotional price. Because I believe you're saving. Actually, let's go to the the Sony website to see if they tell us the pricing, and how much buy? we're saving. Seven forty nine or seven? Yeah. Yeah. So seven forty nine is free for the camera, but I'm trying to find out like the promotional pricing. Like, I guess that promotional pricing is probably for Amazon's only. Not, no, not it's for, for everybody. Oh really? Oh yeah, that's right. B&H, Amazon, yeah, Best Buy. Everywhere has it. Adorama. Yeah, so let me just open this link again on this page here. Isn't it sad? I mean, look at it. All you can do is buy from those places right now. What about all the small, smaller um, camera stores? Small camera stores have it. And the reason why they only say those pages is because they are the bigger manufacturer and they have better return policies. Especially Amazon. Like if you're buying a, a camera, I always recommend Amazon just because you can return it. Yeah, if anything goes wrong, if like it's it. not what you like, and say if you have problems with shipping or something happens with shipping and your camera comes. Yeah, you protect it. Yeah, you protect it really well. That's why I go with Amazon. Like, my and pop shops are great because I also had an e com store. I know how hard it is to sell, so I always want to promote those. But they, unfortunately, they don't have the benefit of all the great customer service that you get with Amazon. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, if you want to buy the accessory kit, get it now. Basically, I believe you're saving a hundred dollars total if you get the accessory kit. You get fifty dollars off the vlogging stick, and you get fifty dollars off the camera if you buy it before I believe mm -hmm. June twenty eighth or something. So yeah, definitely get it. I do one more day of research. I'll place an order. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get this one. I love this camera. So let's take a look at this. So take amazing pictures as well. Oh wait, did we miss this one? Oh, time lapses. Time lapse for that cinematic Ooh. effect. Yes. Interval shooting mode. Automatically capture sequence of images, sequences of images from one to 60 seconds apart, which can be made into a cinematic time lapse video on a PC where clouds follow path like water and whole day passes in seconds. Pretty cool. Now, there's one thing I don't like about this statement. I don't know if you caught it, Jeremy. No, I didn't caught it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so, listen to this. So, interval shooting mode automatically captures sequences of image from one to 60 seconds apart, which can be made into a cinematic time-lapse video on a PC. So, yeah. in other words, it doesn't stitch. I don't think it stitches it all together as a video on the on the camera. So you no, can't no, we can't watch no, and watch no. it and see it right away. You can't capture. Remember, it I told you like with the older generation of RX one hundred series. Yeah. You could actually take a pic, take a film, like take a frame off like a four K video and use a frame. That's exactly the same technology, basically. But in this case, it takes multiple frames to yeah. create a time lapse. Yeah, but you have to do it in uh, put it together in, in not not in, uh, in right. So that's kind of one disadvantage because with my iPhone, I can do time lapse and I can see it, the results right away. So that's one thing that I, I of course I would like to see the sixty or the bunch of photos that it take, but I also want to see like a quick time lapse. Like that's the rewarding part. Like I want to record for like 
five, ten minutes, but I want to play it back right away on my camera. Mm. So I don't think it does that, unfortunately. And here's a couple more bullet points. Like, take amazing pictures as well as video. So the ZV-1 has everything you need to capture images that really shine in your timeline and video thumbnails. The pin sharp Zeiss 24 to 70 millimeter lens focuses light to a large one inch CMOS sensor with it all coming together in a powerful Zonic X image processor. So again, it's great for traveling because it takes pictures as well as videos. Right? What, what more do you, you know, need? You know, the one thing I kind of foresee there could be a problem with all the vloggers out there yeah. using this type of camera and focus the exposure just on their face and nothing else. That, I don't know, that could destroy the old tradition of photography thinking. And I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, it's honestly. Been, it's, it's already been happening. I mean, that's what the wedding industry does, right? They'll blow out the background. It's I don't like, like it. It's a style, and it's a trending style. It may it's change. no skill. Anybody can do it, and that's why everybody can be a fairing photographer. I'm sorry. Stop! I said that. Stop! We're not. We're not going there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not letting you do that, Jeremy. <laughs> anyway, express yourself with creative effects. <laughs> yeah, we. we we're almost done with our live stream. We don't need to get stabbed by all these angry wedding photographers coming at us like, Jeremy, what are you hey, saying? I got to carry the name of Pixel Stab. I got to stab someone somehow. You, yeah, <laughs> you, just, you just stabbed the whole, well, the, a big portion of the wedding community that has stuck with the modern trend. Anyway, so express yourself with creative effects. So you got picture effects and creative styles allows for near limitless visual possibilities from simple monochrome to partial col partial color effects right through to complex miniature effects so you got pretty cool effects imagine yeah. if they had those fuji film similar in there it would be even more awesome it would be but this is not fuji <laughs> so it does a lot for what it does and sony's good at what they do. I love this camera for the vlogging ability. Oh, Lou, mm. this is such a cool configuration. He's got the stick and he's got the camera in portrait mode. And he's got- So the, you can do an Instagram the, story, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's like, it's gangster. It's like, what? What? This is my setup. That's so cool. It looks gangster. Vertical video. Uh, yeah. Easily shoot now. vertical position movies for mobile with automatic tagging of vertical oriented movies so that's cool so it's automatically tagging so when you put it on the computer it knows that it's flipped you can mm. upload content custom made for your smartphone screen that's pretty cool and also a perfect fit for any platform use the movie edit add-on to apply enhanced stabilization for especially shaky shots or reframe and crop videos to suit particular social media aspect ratio it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. So there's a video edit add-on. Oh, that's the software that you download. Please use the latest version. Interesting. Oh, there's one caveat about the auto stabilization that some YouTubers talk about on this camera, and that's like a little negative. Is that if you have auto, if you have image stabilization on and you put it on a tripod, the edges of your video will be shaky. That's because the camera oh, is going to be well, fighting. Well, turn it off then. We on tripod. Why would we turn it on? Well, see, you think you would think that this is an automatic setting because this camera oh. has all these great features for you. It makes it so easy to shoot and not think. But they miss the fact that if you're on a tripod, image stabilization makes the edges jelloy. It's so well, easy to fix. Turn it off. It. Turn it off. Turn yeah. it off. So you have to do it manually. Then you forget to turn it back on when you start moving again. Oh. They did all this work to make one button background blur, one button product product showcase mode, but they can't turn off image stabilization well, when you're on a tripod. You know what? They did a lot already. Give them a break. What? Well done, Sony. I'm giving them a break. Okay. There you go. Good job. Yeah. So also instantly transfer movies to your smartphone. So Wait, movies? Your videos or pictures, right? So the free image 
The free Imaging Edge mobile app for iOS and Android lets you simply transfer, edit, and upload images shot on the ZV-1 instantly to social media platforms from wherever you are. So if you're traveling and you want to post right away the picture or the video you just captured, you use the app that uses, I believe, is Wi-Fi to send data to your phone. I don't know. Okay, it's my wife is gonna love this. Yeah. One so, thing you don't know about my wife is that she can edit a video in her cell phone, and it looks amazing. Wow! I guess mean, she that. did all her makeup tutorial video. Like when I first saw those videos, I said, "Well, how did you do all this video? Like I didn't know you know video editing. Oh, I did all with my phone. <gasps> what? <That's> awesome! <laughs> yeah. So it's she got can totally that... use this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would buy this for both of us. Yeah. yeah. And buy one for me too, by the way, while you're at it. Uh, who are you again? I'm sorry. Do I know you, sir? Texas Savers. Who? Never mind. <laughs> All right. Built to vlog. We talked about this stand a lot. Now you see it in full glory. The ZV1 design makes creating outstanding selfies and vlog content easy. Right down to the last detail, the ZV1 is all about empowering you to make inspirational content. See yourself at your best. The very angle LCD touchscreen flips out horizontally, making it perfect for selfies and vlogging. Clear of ports, microphones, and mounting shoes. It <coughs> allows for precise framing and fluid operations even while in front of the camera. So mm. perfect for vloggers and content creator. And look, this, this little stick here is a selfie, right? And you got the photo button here, you got the movie button here, you got the lock button, you got the zoom, and you got like a C1, I think that's like a custom one button. I don't know if you can map it to other things, but yeah, nice functionality, easy attachment with um, mm -hmm. a thumb, thumb uh, screw here. And this lock here lets you change the angle of the camera. If you want to point it to the ceiling or flip it around and point it to the ground at the table, it's pretty cool. So, oh yeah, these are the little features. Remember the red light that you talked about? Yeah. So know at a glance whether you're recording. It's easy to know when you're recording with a clear recording lamp on the front of the camera and it's easy to switch off if you prefer. Like if it's disturbing or it's kind of weird when people see you pointing a camera with a red light because it's not normal. I guess it's nice to turn it off. You'll never accidentally forget to hit record button again if you have the light on. Mm -hmm. Optimized grip for selfies. I don't really buy this. No. But that Here's, selfie thing is so old right now. No, forget about it. Well, also, they're talking about the optimized grip. I think the grip is going to be okay. I, I feel like with a small camera, you can't really have an optimized grip. But anyway, the deeper and sh the deeper shaped grip is more comfortable for conventional shooting and offers a stable handhold. Actually, unless if you can see this, yeah, my um, you see how I have an extra grip. Mm -hmm. Now this is a good grip. Yeah, it, it grips really well. Right. Even like so, you might well it, if it's the same body build, you might be able to put this on there. Fine, fine. That's probably what they have. They have, they have it. Let me see. Can you zoom in your? Yeah, uh, that's a nice grip. And I think the, the the my camera has the same thing too. Yeah. I can block my face so you can see it. It's a little bit grippy, so yeah. you know, it's it helps. Yeah, that's true. I would say fine. Yeah, it's good for selfies. There. Good job, Sony. <laughs> too All bad right. it don't have that um, wheel finder anymore. Yeah, yeah, it took away the viewfinder. And what it replaced with is the microphone jack, right? Because that's mm -hmm. where all the wires go down to the camera. So, works with wireless grips. So, the ZX, sorry, the ZV1 is compatible with the Sony Bluetooth wireless shooting grip, which is the GV VPTBT, which offers cable free control of zoom, recording, and more, and expands into a mini tripod for stable, hand-free shots, just like that. Boom, I actually really like that. I, are you gonna get the, the, the wireless control grip? I, I think I want it. I don't know, I have like those man follow little tiny tripod, oh, I yeah, can yeah. use that, but I don't know. Well, th this is Bluetooth, yeah, to, right? Yeah. So if you're on a tripod, you can still control your camera, zoom and record and take pictures. And if you're traveling with it, it's great because now you can hold it out and just hit record 
and then you can take a picture, a selfie by just hitting that button, and you can change the zoom. It's kind of nice. I, I don't I think, know. The last time I did myself like a reblocking is yeah. that uh, my wife is not my wife. Yeah, still my girlfriend, and I try to do some videos. Yeah. You know, but that's the only thing I did. But then I had to hide somewhere with no one. So I don't know how comfortable I am like walking around with my camera, reblocking, talking about something that nobody will know I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's just we'll so, see how that goes. There's just so many more features. I think we're going to have to capture this on tomorrow's video. So we'll talk about this yeah. camera more tomorrow because there's just so okay. much to go over. But I think tonight we should just wrap it up as saying what we see so far, this is an amazing vlogging camera. I, like I think it. it's amazing. I, I'm definitely going to get one. I'm probably going to get one with the vlogging kit that comes with the Bluetooth stick and the 64 gig card. Uh, what about you, Jeremy? I'm getting a camera for sure, but I'm not sure, sure about the, the blogging stick, so that I'm still debatable. Cool. Any, any last words you want to wrap up before we say goodnight? Yes, I wish they had the wheel finder, but oh well. Do you ever use a viewfinder in a small camera? Uh, yes, I do. Why? Because it's so bright out, I can't see the LCD. Yes. Taking pictures. That's the one thing that cell phones are actually still good for because cell phones... Yeah, you gotta understand, I'm still a photographer first before. I mean, the video part is something yeah. attached, you know, do something for, you know, YouTube and whatnot. But I'm the number one thing is still photography, so... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and don't forget on our website, Pizza Stabbers, if you go to our photo gear, we actually wrote an article. Hey, where's the article? It's under photo gear, right, Jeremy? It is, but or, you have to refresh it. Oh, yeah. I should, oh, there it is. See, if you go to Photo Gear, you can see it here. And we didn't discuss the, the top features yet, but if you want to go here, check it out. I listed uh, my tough, tough features. So you guys can mm. check that out on our website at pixelstabbers.com. If you want to buy the camera, check the link right below and get it at Amazon. That's where I recommend getting it and order it soon because mm -hmm. it's $50 cheaper for the camera and $100 cheaper with the accessory kit. Uh, promotional pricing right now before the camera is released. So get it soon if you want it. Otherwise, if you wait, you're going to regret it because this is a really good price. If you're vlogging or you're using this for content creating, there's no better camera uh, that's all in one and compact like this. So mm -hmm. yeah. So with that, shall we wrap up, Jeremy? Yes, we shall because I'm getting tired. All right. Well, we enjoyed talking <laughs> to you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for enjoying the conversation, for making it fun for us to produce content like this. Let us know if you want to see other content similar or what type of content you'd like to see. We always want to make content for you guys. So like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube at Pixel Stabbers, subscribe to us on Amazon Live under Utechpia, and have a great night, and we'll see you next time. All right? Good night. Adios. Have a good night. Bye. Signing out. Signing out on YouTube, signing out on Amazon Live. See you guys! We're going Bye. out in three, two, one, and we're still signing out because it didn't.